Hello YouTube. We're back again with this ThinkPad because I got a comment relating to Endis Wrapper in the uh, first video. And of course, for those of you who aren't familiar with Endis Wrapper, it's a program for Linux that lets you use Windows drivers in Linux. So, for example, I take this uh, wireless card and I can use the Windows drivers to run it so you so I can get on the internet. And the guy who commented was like told me good job like almost like it's a very daunting task to do and i want to show all of you how stupid easy it is to do in ubuntu and zubuntu either one it'll be pretty much the same maybe kubuntu i've never tried it in kubuntu but nevertheless let's show you i'm going to be doing this with a linksys wireless g card it is a WPC54GX. So if you're looking to buy a PCI card, this one will work with an, with uh, Linux. Either through Mad Wi-Fi or Endis Wrapper, probably. I haven't tried it in Mad Wi-Fi because I need the PCI slot over here, or the PC card slot over here to get to the internet. I have, the, in the last video, I had that Ethernet card. I have it plugged in now so that we can get stuff off the internet. Look how primitive that is. <laughs> It just looks like some things sticking out there, doesn't it? So let's um, boot this thing up and show you just how easy it is to do. Now, traditionally with Endis Wrapper, what you would do is <clears throat> install it with the command line, let's say in Slackware or Puppy Linux or something. Actually, Puppy Linux has it built in. Uh, but I remember the old days of Ubuntu when I had it running on a PowerBook G4. So I had the PowerPC version of uh, Ubuntu 6.06. .06. Wow. <laughs> Memory lane. Um, yeah, I had that running. I, uh, and this wrapper was extremely hard to use back then because no matter how you tried, it just didn't work properly. I mean, I got it to recognize the wireless card on that old laptop, but it just would not connect to the internet no matter how hard you tried. It was kind of ridiculous, but it's been years since then, and it's improved quite a bit. Now there's a now there's a, an interface, there's a GUI interface on Ubuntu that I have to show you guys. It makes installing the wireless drivers for Windows ten times easier. So let's boot up again. That looks much better. Wow. That is laggy sound. <laughs> okay, so you log in, obviously. Log into the Ubuntu desktop. I love this background, by the way. It just fits the whole color of the computer. It's a nerdy background, but it looks pretty good with the Ubuntu. Anyway, back to the topic at hand. Now, as you can see, I'm plugged in... As you can see up here, I'm plugged in through Ethernet. All it says is auto etho and disconnect. And what you want to do to get this uh, GUI thing I'm talking about is go to System Administration. Basically, just open Synaptic Package Manager. Of course, it'll prompt you for your password, like always. I can move the screen up a bit so you can see better. All right, I'll load all the packages. I'm doing this in Ubuntu 9.10, by the way. It should work exactly the same in 9.04, if you still have that. Okay, so here you have, of course, your all your packages in the package manager. Go up to the search box and type in ndis wrapper, and you get uh three things. You get the Endis wrap you get Endis wrapper itself, you get the common files, and you get the GTK. The GTK, as you can see here, it's the graphical front end, which is for the installation of the Wi-Fi drivers. Now Endis wrapper can install more than Wi-Fi drivers. But this particular uh G this GUI front end um is only for wireless drivers. So it may so if you need to get wireless running like right now, uh this will make it 
20 times easier. Trust me. It will. Now what you do is you uh, install it. You mark it for installation. And it, it'll uh, also install the other two, as you can see here. Click apply. Click apply again. It'll download the files off of the internet, but I already had them downloaded because, you know. It will install the packages, of course. Come on, come on. You can do it. Look at my hard drive. It's like going nuts. There we go. It's installing them. It should install pretty fast, actually. Faster than this machine, of course. 600 megahertz Celeron. It's not going to install the fastest. I mean, look at the hard drive. It's like, you know. There you go. It's installed. Wait for the package manager to finish refreshing itself. And once that's done, that's that's it really. Um, as you can see, all they're in, all of them are installed now. So you close Synaptic. Now you down. What you have to do now is uh, go to your manufacturer's website, such as Linksys's website. I already have the file downloaded, but you download the drivers for your particular card or adapter and go to of course un also unzip or uncompress whatever file it is go to administration in system go down to this new thing down here called Windows wireless drivers now what this will do is it'll pop up a window and look at how simple that is install driver remove driver configure network close that's it now what you want to do is go to install new driver and you look for an, an inth file which is which is the extension of the file it's dot nif you uh, click the little folder browse through browse wherever you put it I put it in downloads because that's where it went to this is the uh, zip file I downloaded I uncompressed it into here open that up and you'll see a bunch of files in here. You'll see like MSI, Sys, and the setup file for Windows. But what you really want is the netni.inf. Hit that, or any file similar to it. Basically, you want the NIF file for your wire that is the wireless drivers. It should be more intuitive than this with other drivers, I think. And you click open. When you select the inf file can't see the mouse. Hit install. And there you go. It's installed. Now just press close. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to eject the LAN card. It'll say the network is disconnected. Then put the card in. You don't have to mob, mod probe or anything. You can just put the card in and it mod probes it for you. <clears throat> lights will start flashing. It'll still say you're offline, but look up here. Now you have a uh, God. Now it's connecting because my network settings are there, but as you can see it detects the wireless networks now. And now it's connected to my now it's connected to my router. What I did to do this video is I uninstalled it, then reinstalled it to show you guys the process. But now it's connected to the internet, and I'll prove it. Let's open up Firefox, shall we? Of course, it takes a while, because Firefox is slow to start up, as usual. Hard drive. And there you go. Close the Ubuntu start page. Now, just to prove that isn't cached, let's go to apple.com, which is a site with a lot of images, obviously. And there you go. It does work. It's that simple, guys. It really is. That's how easy it is to get Windows. That's how easy it is to get Endis Wrapper working with wireless cards.
on Ubuntu or Zubuntu Linux. Hope that uh, hope that's useful to somebody and uh, uh, yeah, <laughs> I can't talk right now. It's as you can see, it's about three in the morning. Uh, but yeah, I will talk to you guys later. Hope you hope that helps. Hope you enjoyed it, and have a good one, everybody. Ciao.